Hey YouTube, SciGuy29 coming at you here. Uh, kind of a mashup of topics today. Uh, wanted to get a video done um, this week for sure uh, because starting Thursday I'm back to school. Uh, we are going actually back to school with, with kids and everything. I don't start with kids till after Labor Day, uh, but teacher meetings and, and in-service stuff starts on Thursday. So wanted to get something in. Uh, at least one before that. Hopefully I can get one or two more in uh, this week. Throw out something I'm toying with, and that's a new segment. Segment, like I've been doing this forever. Uh, called Crafts and Cards. I talk about craft beer and some baseball cards. Not really talk about them, but kind of drink one and show some cards instead. Uh, something I got planned coming up. Uh, try that out, see what it looks like, and see what the response is. Um, next thing is... After listening, uh, this morning is when I heard it, baseball collector uh, Mike from Bench Clear, the Bench Clear guys, um, starting a new podcast on vintage cards. Really excited about that. Can't wait to listen to that. Several others that uh, add that to my list of ones that I can listen to uh, as I'm doing work or driving, whatever the case might be. Um, you know, just vintage cards is all he's looking at, and, and uh, that's great. Go check out his video if you want more information on on kind of what he's thinking and to give him some ideas uh, if you have them. Uh, other podcasts uh, that I really enjoy listening to is uh, About the Cards. You can find that here on YouTube uh, as well as uh, all the regular spots you can you, you get your uh, podcasts. Um, for all those hockey collectors that might be listening, uh, you can find the Puck Junk podcast. Um, that's pretty entertaining. Uh, Sal Barry and the Real DFG uh, is always a good one. Um, so those are just a couple that I listen to on a regular basis uh, that you might be interested in as well. Um, as far as some pickups, uh, I'm going to start with this group here. Uh, this was this group all came from one dealer um, on YouTube. Uh, a wide range of items. Um, starting off with a uh, 2019 uh, sepia refractor. Uh, Jose Barrios for my twins for my PC. Okay, I don't know how well you can see that there, but really got good look, good look to it. I really like that. Uh, another one for my PC uh, is the Turkey Red Will Clark uh, from this year's 2020 tops. Uh, I'm going to go back to kind of what I've really been focusing on. Those are PC, obviously. Uh, these are just kind of a, a kind of a passion, I guess, right now for what I've been looking at. Uh, first is a 54 Bowman Vic Rashi. Uh, not bad centering uh, for this. A little off top to bottom. Left to right is pretty decent. Rounded corners. Uh, here's the back. Uh, just love these cards, how they're put together, some of the different poses they have. Uh, kind of the blended backgrounds so many of them have have always kind of interested me. Um, next is a 52 Bowman, and this is Max Sircant. Uh I'm not sure this was just shoved in a in a uh, top loader. A bunch of them had 1994 stickers for 20 cents on them, but uh, this is definitely not a 1994. Uh, it's it's an original Bowman 52. These backs are always entertaining to me, you know. Uh, gives a brief rundown, and uh, this is number 12 in the 1952 series, and just how they they set it up so completely differently than what we're kind of used to today. Next, I got a group of 55 Bowman. Uh, start off with the Jim Bridewesser. Bridewesser. Uh, I always think it's Budweiser. I get all excited when I see that the first time. Kind of another one of the stickers on the back that's kind of goofed up there. Kind of like it though. Uh, we have this Jim McDonald. Uh, and this is a back that I guess I'd never really looked at before, but it talks about the most exciting game in which I've ever played. It's a little blurb about him. So, uh, got a little low there. I love these. 55 Bowmans. Uh, I'm a background of card guy. It just intrigues me, especially anything that shows stadiums. Uh, really kind of makes me pay a little more attention. Here we have a Bill Kloss, infielder for the Red Sox. Okay, uh, I've said it before on some of my videos how much I enjoy uh, classic old stadium ballparks. Uh, here we have a Willie Miranda from the Baltimore Orioles. See the big wall in the back. Okay, this one's horribly miscut. Uh, you can see the giant, giant border on this side here. 
And if you look at the back, you can almost see a second number of the next card coming off the sheet. So pretty entertaining. Uh, as supplies get limited, these next couple are, are doozies. And uh, no, there really aren't sepia toned 55 Bowman. These are just a, they came in a yellowed uh, top loader. Uh, this is Hank Majeski, uh, infielder for the Indians. Uh, you kind of see the seating in the background there. Can't see it quite as well because of the sepia colored uh, top loader. Here's another one. And these did not get put in terribly well. This is a Joe Astroth, a catcher for the Kansas City A's. You know, just kind of the, the pose of, ah, staring up and you can about imagine what that was like. This is, a, the back's much nicer than the front of the top loader there. Uh, then we have a, a Stan Lapata, catcher for the Phillies. Uh, another one, got the old-time catcher's gear. Anytime they can have the old-time catcher's gear on, plus stadium in the background, bonus. Another one of the stupid stickers. Uh, not down real well. Uh, kind of stuck in there. Um, but just love the look of these cards. It's one of the first vintage sets I really started to look at. Now, the next two are, are cards that I'm toying with the idea of starting to collect a vintage hockey set. This, is from the, this would be from the year of my birth. So it'd be the 68, 69. 60, a lot of people just call it 68 tops if you're talking OPG. Uh, then it's 68, 69. But uh, this is a Doug Bones. Uh, good looking card for the Blackhawks here. Uh, kind of reminiscent of uh, some of the tops designs that had the, the color with the black and white kind of background or the inset. Uh, always love that. The color schemes on these are just crazy, but backs of the cards are always kind of fun here too. Uh, you know. They call him Diesel Doug, is, is, is the hockey fact on the back. and um, he, uh, This one cracks me up. He wears a helmet regularly. Uh, something today we just kind of take for granted in hockey, but you know, back in the day it was, it was their choice up until the 80s, I think. So one more is a Minnesota North Star, Parker McDonald. And uh, says one of the Nova Scotians in the NHL. Parker's nicknamed Squid. So uh, kind of a neat one there. Uh, he's very deft around the net is kind of what one of the things that says in the back so um one of the other few other pickups i've had uh is this hand cut post harman killebrew see how good you can see that bottom is just absolutely awful uh but when you're paying 89 cents for it kind of hard to pass it up something for pc as well as you know just being a good looking twin and a hall of famer uh working on the 69 set Picked up this catfish hunter, uh, off off center, left to right, top to bottom. Uh, but there again, for the price, what I was looking for, uh, it, it definitely fit the bill. Another 79 or 89 cent pickup there. Uh, Walter Alston can't can't you know can't go wrong with a under a dollar Hall of Famer. This last group, uh, I got six here. Uh, wrap this up. It's getting kind of long. Uh, I'm working on a 1958 top set. Um, after getting these in today, I'm at 128 out of the 495. Um, not going variations right now. Just trying to get one of each to kind of get that set together. It's an intriguing set to me, and I'll go into that in another video. But uh, picked up this uh, pitcher, Dave Jolly from the Giants. Try not to get as much glare on there. Uh, Jim Hearn from the Phillies. And these are in, oh, like I said, I'll go into that later. Uh, Chico Fernandez, one of my favorite, favorite names. Another Philly. And another Red Sox, Willard Nixon. Okay, very serious look there in that, in that pose. Um, this set, you know, kind of like a lot of the 50s sets, has those uh, teammate cards or, or dual player cards. And, and uh, this is a Mound Aces uh, from the Pirates and the White Sox, Bob Friend and, and Billy Pierce. Kind of a off center in the holder, but that's a little better. Good looking card there. All those were all five of those were 99 cent pickups. And then this is the, the one I spent a little more on. Um, I've only spent more than 99 cents on eight of the 128 cards I have so far. Um, obviously those are the Hall of Famers that I have. Eddie Matthews, Frank Robinson, um, and my this is my first ever Stan Musial I picked up. Uh, one of the all-star cards. Okay. Just, I, I love these all-star cards. They're so cool. I realize I got some big names coming. Um, 
I'm really looking at getting the maze, the mantle, uh, all-star cards and regular cards uh, graded just from an authenticity standpoint. Uh, but I'll, like I said, I'll go more into my 58 set uh, exploits in another video. Um, let me know what you think about my idea about my craft beer and card segment. Um, and uh, if you'd be interested in that, I, I love to talk about both. Um, and would really look forward to hearing what your, your thoughts are. So, uh, till next time, stay safe, everybody. Collect what you love, love what you collect. Sci Guy's gone.